So if you get a tablet for your kids for Christmas or birthdays, or even if you want them to use your tablet sometimes, you'll want to set it up for them. So they can get to their stuff, but you don't want them buying apps, sending emails from your account, using features you don't want them to use. But you might also want to limit their time on it, stop them playing games after a certain amount of time, um, or give them rewards if they do more reading. So here's the tablet my kids use. It's a Kindle Fire. So I'm going to show you how to set that up for parental controls. I'll show you what you can do with it and a few of the features that don't work so well and how you can deal with them. Um, I'm a writer of children's uh, books for children. Uh, I wrote the Act Normal series of books, which are great fun for kids. They're on um, Amazon uh, and it's designed for kids who are just getting into reading on their own. So just type in Act Normal into the Kindle bookshop and you'll find them. Um, now, the Kindle, I think, is the best tablet for kids because the parental controls are excellent. Uh, there's a few problems, but on the whole, they're pretty good. Um, so to set them up, first of all, you'll need to set up your Kindle with a password. I'm going to assume you've already done that because without a password, your children will just be able to freely access the machine anyway. So setting up an account is fairly easy. Just swipe down from the top of the screen, uh, go to settings, then go to profiles and family library. Here you can add a child to the profile. Um, you can put a photo in there. You put their name in there, uh, your birth, their birthday, uh, their sex. Um, and then that allows you to set up an account for them. Here's one I've already done for one of my children. As soon as you create a profile, it'll appear in the pro profiles and family library. Now there are two important areas in this bit. Um, the daily goals and time limits and the child's content. Let's do the content first. Uh, this is a list of everything that's on the Kindle uh, and all you have to do is put a check against anything you want them to be able to access. So this will show you all the apps, all the games, all the books in your library and you can just choose quite easily which ones you want them to be able to read. Here's a book you want that I'd like them to be able to read. Here's an app. Um, 50 Shades of Grey, not so much. So you just check whatever you want them to see on their system when they open it up. It's worth noting here that at the time of recording, there are some things that let this system down a bit. Uh, there are some built-in apps that don't appear. The web browser, the calculator, the note writer apps, maps even. It just won't allow kids uh, you to let the kids use them, which seems a bit silly. Uh, so the workaround for this is if you want them to be able to do these things, just go to the Amazon shop and find apps to replace the built-in ones. There are plenty of free ones for most of these, and if you can find any useful ones, please put them in the comments underneath this video so that other people can grab them, because I think it's a bit of a limitation. And it's handy to have a bit of a list down here of uh, things that uh, people might want to use. Anyway, when you're finished, click Done. Uh, now go to Daily Goals and Limits. Uh, you can see a few things here. First, check that the limits are set to on at the top. Um, bedtime defines the hours the Kindle turns off so they can't wake up in the middle of the night and play Minecraft. Although, frankly, if they do wake up, I'd rather they played on the tablet than come and wake me up, but that's just me. Um, the educational goals for books, videos and apps are a way to make sure they do reading before they can play games. I don't use these, but they are quite handy um, and it will let you know what kind of activity they've been doing. Uh, there's uh, a total screen time option after which the tablet cuts off, but it's a pretty blunt instrument. So I don't use that. I select time by activity. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. Just drag the time bar here to set the times for books, video watching and using apps, which includes games. Uh, here you can see I've set up for unlimited reading time but just 30 minutes of games per day. Uh, the downside here is you can't choose between apps and games currently. Uh, so for example, if they're on the way to the zoo and they use up all their game time playing in the car, they'll get frozen out of the app so they won't be able to use the camera when they get there. The only way I can think of, of fixing that is by going in with your password and changing the settings on this page for the day, for that particular day, and then changing them back again at the end of the day. Again, it's not ideal, but uh, it would be nice if it could distinguish between games and things like homework apps or um, useful stuff like uh, like uh, word processing or, or whatever, but it can't. So uh, what you have to do is change it and then change it back. Now, 
So now I'm basically there. If I turn off the tablet and turn it back on again, I see the icons at the top allowing me to log in either as myself with my password or as the child. Um, now, the only things that are available if you log in as the child are those you've chosen for them to be able to access. If something doesn't appear, just click on the apps or books button and they should be there. Tap them uh, to download them. It's as simple as that. Um, there is an additional thing called Amazon Free Time, which is basically a library of kid friendly apps that you can subscribe to at a monthly cost. I don't do it because I prefer to buy stuff for my children one at a time. Um, to buy or download books for them, just log in as a grown up and go to the Amazon shop. And when you do, please search for Act Normal uh, and take a look at some of my books. Download the free samples and, and let me know what you think. And that's all there is to it. Um, hope this has been useful and thanks for listening.